hello everyone welcome back to the new series that i am on uh, this is the introduction to electrical engineering that is b e s k 104 b or you can say 204 b uh, in this more in this video i am doing the module 1 part 1 video where i'll be covering the introduction part of the module 1 that is conventional and unconventional energy resources general structure of electrical power systems using the single line diagram approach and then power generation of hydrogen, nuclear, solar and wind power energy block diagram approach. So this is a part 1 video. I will be carrying this and then in the part 2 video we will we'll be getting about the DC circuits. So stay tuned for the further modules and do subscribe for the further modules and the further topics. So I will be giving you a very good notes that is very good for our, your understanding and for the last minute preparation of your exam. So let's get started. First chapter. Uh, module 1 in that introduction in this first you have to know about the non-conventional energy resources uh, that is the resources that are that can produce useful energy continuously for a long period of time and are available again and again you can also call them as renewable source of energy example is solar energy explain that it is defined as transformation of the energy that is present in the sun and is one of the renewable energies present in the earth's atmosphere and you need to learn the advantages of the solar energy and the disadvantages of the flow, uh, solar energy. All the things are clearly mentioned in this notes. Just pause the video and uh, just write a uh, key point so that you can remember and write in the exam like clean, renewable, reliable and these are all the advantages. The disadvantages, winter, winter, winter days and cloudy days and you can say cost, uh, it is not like, expensive. Like that you just have to write it down. Uh, the complete explanation cannot be done as it is having a huge topic. So I'll be just guiding you what are the things you need to remember for the exam in the exam point of view. Next comes the wind energy. This is also a renewable energy. Uh, so you have to write a two, three lines about that. Then comes the advantages of wind energy. Same thing as I said, it is cost effective then reduces carbon emission, running cost, everything. Then comes the disadvantages of the wind energy. Next is our tidal energy. This is for due to what periodic movement of the ocean waters due to the gravitational force of the moon and sun. So two types, one is high tides and low tides. So right on the advantages, uh, are like it is renewable, it is uh, quite predictive. Then uh, tidal power plants are capable of producing large amount of electricity. Coming to the disadvantages, it is installation. Again, it is installation is not that uh, easy. And uh, because of the high density of water, there are many problems. You can uh, go through that. Next comes the geothermal energy. Here, the heat energy that we can get from the hot rocks on the, in the Earth's crust. It's called as geothermal energy. Uh, then conventional energy sources next is these are all the non-renewable energy sources so example are coal crude oil natural gas like that coal i write a few lines about that natural gas write a few few lines from taking from this paragraph then again from the petroleum then you need to mainly know the differences between the renewable and non-renewable resources this is one of the guaranteed question in the exam like you have to know the difference uh, like you have to take a parameter and remember like first thing is it can be used again and again throughout its life it cannot be uh, used again like it is only one time and it gets exhausted so main thing is exhaust it discuss exhaust this doesn't so this is how you have to remember for the exam uh, this is eco friendly this is not eco friendly this is limited this is not limited so like that make a key points of both the uh, uh, renewable and non renewable and do remember that then coming to advantages of renewable sources, they may ask you or you can say disadvantages of renewable sources or advantages of non-renewable energy and then disadvantages of the non-renewable energy. Uh, mainly write on the key points. Next, we'll start with uh, another one topic as I said, just a minute. Uh, as I said, I have explained you about these things, hydrogen, nuclear, solar and wind, everything is done. So, using the block diagram approach, the next comes the hydrogen power energy. As I said, uh, we are going to the next part. That is, you have to know the block diagram properly and you have to explain each of them. Like, how the water is in the dam, how it flows through a gate, there is a pressure tunnel, we are having the search tank and a pen stop and the inlet wall and here runs the turbine. 
So then we are having draft tube and the water flows and rotate, rotates the shaft. So hence the electric uh, is generated and we are having a transformer which converts and it is sent through the power lines to electric cables. So you have to explain each of them like catchment area, what is that, uh, the to to uh, total area that is behind the dam, then dam and reservoir control. Each of the thing you have to explain it. At least write two to three points for each of the uh, thing that you are explaining. Finally, you have to write, after explaining the blood diagram, you have to write the working, how it water comes, it turns, and that is how the electricity is generated. So that is given in that paragraph to refer that. Next comes solar energy. So this is our block diagram. The solar radiations fall on the module. Charge controller we have. We have a DC that loads to AC. We are having a battery and it is having an inverter and the AC load. So this is how the uh, block diagram is. Explain the things. What are the, the cells we use? Solar cells. What it is made up of? What it can? It helps in converting. What are the photovoltaic cells? How to, uh, do we use that so how does it convert the sunlight into electricity we are having a p type and n type in that uh, semiconductor so all these things you have to explain clearly to get a good marks in for this question so out of the, all this one question will be for sure in your exam then comes the components solar panels what are the batteries used for charge controller inverters then working principle then comes the wind power energy so this is how we are having the wind turbine components so that that hub and blades we are having rotor tape tower float, uh, floating and ground level so internal components how it works this you can refer only for your understanding so no need to write this that you have to write and uh, main components in the wind turbine are this that also you can refer in each of the things again you have to explain just remember one one point for each of the component and do don't forget to write this this is a block diagram then writing the turbine you need to write this uh, for sure to get a good marks so how is aero turbine gearing and coupling then electric generator controllers these are the main blocks and how they are connected and how the signals are passed so finally you have to write the working principle like what pushes the air and how is electricity generated transform converts the electricity then it is stored and used last is the nuclear power generation here nuclear fission uh, is a reaction where the nucleus of the atom splits into two smaller nuclei which uh, while it releases the energy so that energy is what our uh, nuclear that is what we are producing from that we are producing the electricity so for that also you have to write this block diagram so this is what the expected question because most of the question papers they have asked about this nuclear energy itself so you have to write the reactors and pressurizers how the steam is sent and how the steam turbine runs then uh, finally condenser and it pumps back we are having a cooler cooling uh, water input so these are all the things you have to remember. Then again, you have to explain the components nuclear reactor. We are having two types. One is pressurized water reactor, PWR, and boiling water reactor, PWR. Then heat exchanger, steam turbine, alternator, condenser, working of that nuclear power plant, how it works. So read the sentences. They are in an easy way so you can understand. So this was all about the module one, part one. Uh, so part two video will be coming next so do like share and subscribe to examine net for the further videos thank you for watching stay tuned and see you in the next video